Okay, well, <laughs> here we go with the big swipe challenge. Thank you, ladies, for this challenge. I got a challenge from uh, my favorite Facebook art group. I do this, by the way, when I get nervous, because I'm like, what do I say, what do I do? Just paint. Um, these are the colors we're working with today. These are all soft body acrylics um, in Floetrol. These four have no water, so it's just Floetrol. I want it to be a little bit thicker. I want it to be able to grab this canvas so that when I'm pulling the white over it, um, it grabs a little bit. Um, and I should mention this, too. This is my first deliberate swipe ever. I, I should say drag. I've done swipes. But it's been a really long time, and usually what I do with a swipe is it's to save a pour that went wrong. So to start out by trying to do this is a little different for me, but I like challenging myself. So, Okay, this is Titanium White, and it's in Floetrol as well, um, but that's it. Uh, Floetrol, Titanium White, Soft Bodied Acrylic, and that's it. So I've also added a little bit of silicone to each of these. And right before we get going here, because I'm going to do a straight pour with these, I'm going to add a little bit of transparent uh, violet, and this is acrylic ink from Liquitex, I'm, uh, to that one. To this one, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, trans, uh, transparent raw umber, uh, transparent turquoise on this one, and my favorite, my favorite burnt sienna. It's also a transparent. What I'm going to do is drop some of those in these and barely stir it up so it's kind of its own dirty pour in each of these colors. So we'll do that and then we'll get started. Oh, and there's our little drag that we're going to use. Actually, I'm not sure if this one's a transparent or not. Oh, it's half transparent. So I'm squirting a, that's actually quite a bit, to squirt a whole full one in on that. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of the raw umber. This one I dig, it's one of my favorites. It's a deep turquoise. all-time favorites from the Liquitex acrylic inks is the the transparent uh, burnt sienna. It's just such a vibrant, beautiful color. I'm putting about a stopper and a half of this. It's not filling up all the way, so because I'm almost out. Maybe a little over a full stopper in that. Okay, so I'm just going to do a dirty stir to the dirty pour. So it just looks like that. I'm not stirring all the way through, but I'm not completely blending it either. I guess I just said the same thing twice in a different way. <laughs> so you can kind of see what these guys are doing here. At least I hope you can. This raw armor really could take a painting over, but we'll see what happens. This is kind of a caramely color that I put together, like a nutty caramely color because I thought it would be a good trans, uh, trans, uh, juxtaposition to these colors. Plus I love gold with purple so should do well. Okay so all of these have transparent acrylic inks in them not mixed all the way in so we're going to lay these out and then we're going to do our swipe drag. Okay and as usual uh, this is a wood cradle um, about an inch thick and it's about 26 and a half inches wide by 30 inches long. I'm not sure what that is in centimeters, but there you go.
doing this without gloves. That's how excited I was to do this. <laughs> Coolness. Just kind of, I want to play some randomly, but I also want to space everything pretty good. But I want to start mixing some of these too. What I mean by that is I want to start bringing them up and crossing them because that way they'll mix. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach it, but we'll see. I'm going to get some white on the end of this first. And I'll just do it sidearm. Ooh, are we ready? hairs on the outside of this. Let's save that from going in. So far, I think it's going to be cool. The problem is, is I have to take it down one more time because there's some parts of the canvas that aren't covered and I don't mind if I even spackle it a little bit there. There we go. Okay, now I'm happy. So far, me likey. I love vibrant colors. I'm just not used to such bright colors, and I'm really kind of liking this a lot. Even with the overlay and overlap of whites on top, I'm not going to move this, really, because um, I don't want to risk masking, it, masking any of this up. I do have some areas that didn't get covered, so I'm going to fix those first. I put those little dots of black in. So far, like only one is showing up, but I have a feeling it's going to sneak in there, which is what I want. So let me get my little... There's some cool cells happening. I hope you can really see this. I'm going to show you a close-up view in a minute, but... Oh, ladies, thank you so much for this challenge. This is cool. Oh, yes, 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 yes.
Care Light. I'm going to touch it a little bit, simply because I don't want the bottom edge to look like that. So if I can scooch any of this down, it'll be perfect. Oh yeah, I can sell this one. <laughs> Come on baby, run. Plus it gives you, whoa, it gives you a good shot of it too. But yes, I am quite liking this one very much. Go over it with the uh, torch one more time and then I'm going to come get you. There's some neat blobs in a way. There's like blobs of uh, white down here that were picked up and put on top. And I'm kind of really liking what it's doing. Alright, torchy, torchy. start to see some of the black showing through, which is perfect. giving this one kind of more of a purpose. I'm very happy with this. Oh, I would have probably never done that had the challenge not come up. And now I'm so glad I did. And with these other, <laughs> these other pieces that I'm looking at, the different, like this one with the um, holes popped through it, and then this one with just kind of a car washer type of a cut in it, or even this one, doing a long one of this where it's rounded at the bottom and it's more like a balloon pull. The possibilities are endless. I even got some pinking shears to do a zigzag cut on one of these. So. Looks like I'll be doing a series <laughs> of swipe pulls. It's not really a swipe, it's kind of a swipe drag. It's a dragon swipe. <laughs> I don't know. You figure it out, you name it for me. But okay, I'm gonna come and get you because I'm I'm really, really, really liking this one. One more quick torch. Mm -hmm. Now, as I've said, I got brand new lighting in here, so I'm going to find out today if this is going to mess things up or not as far as glare, but I don't think it is. My first on-purpose swipe. And I am very, very, very happy with my little tool. Well, big tool. And I'm going to make some more. Uh, pieces or different edges to go in that. So that's, let me get some, see if I can get some close ups here. Some really neat stuff going on. That's one of the main reasons why I wanted to mix it slightly 
more thick on this one because I wanted it to grab. I wanted it to see where it was for the most part and then just pull off on top. And, and you know as well as I do if you've done any pours that the best laid plans and pouring always will take you down, <laughs> take you down whatever road it wants to. But I never imagined this would even look like this, but I'm very happy with it. Wow, I'm going to get some really cool macros out of this. Oh, there we go. So I can't wait to show you this when it's dry. And that's what we're going to do next. Is get this thing dry and up. And I'll take some pictures.